You've got a big night ahead of us. Don't be afraid to clean yourself up, Amber. Take a shower, is what I'm saying. Yeah, don't be afraid you hit water yourself. She smelled like an old lady that's been left laying in a hospital bed and the nurse forgot to turn her. Okay, you need to take it way down. I'm sorry, that's too much. Okay, that was too much. Jeez. Too much. What are you staring at? I got my eyes on you. You better stay on your toes. You got your ice on me? What does that even mean? I have an accent. I, I speak two languages, that's so I have an accent. I speak two languages too. Kicking your ass and fucking cleaning the floor with it. You better take some dance classes, because you're gonna be like a little ballerina around me tonight. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take your eyes out. I'm gonna put them on my toes, and then I'm gonna kick the fucking wall. That's impossible. I've been in this dress for 12 fucking hours. Give me your coat. Well, this is a man's coat, so... That is not a man's coat. That's a very feminine trench. You look at me in the eye and tell me you bought that in the men's department, and I will, I will beat the shit out of you. It was my mother's coat, but she's very masculine, so... Yeah? That's what I thought. She's really tall, so kind of fits me. Kind of good. Yeah, you look like ABBA took a shit and put a trench coat on it. You know the band ABBA? Yeah. Waterloo. Hello. Did ABBA shit you out? That's what I'm wondering. All, all four of them? Did all four members of ABBA shit you out and then collectively put one coat on you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you better fucking check your gene pool. You got ABBA in there, buddy. I fucking hate you, but I also like you in some weird way. It's, I'm really confused right now. I'm shocked myself, because now I'm slightly attracted to you. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm, th I'm thinking about my mom. She's so tall. I don't know if it has anything to do with her, but... I no, it's over. Fuck. I'm over you. It was quick. You were so... sexy. Fuck, now I'm so pathetic I feel bad for you. I'm still gonna beat the shit out of you, but I also feel bad for you right before I kill you. Oh, I got a boner. Yeah, you're fucking wearing that. Give me the coat. You can't have it, because it's my coat. I'm gonna take that coat. Oh, no, you won't. Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, I'm gonna take that no. coat. No, no, it's you my coat. It's my coat. It's coat. my coat. You're stupid plants. You're fucking silly if you think you're gonna get my Mother coat. Never in my life you get my coat. You don't get my I fucking coat. I will break you. Oh, good luck. Good luck getting my coat. <laughs> Oh, I've been in this situation many times before, you know? No one gets my coat. No one. No one has ever got my fucking out, oh, you so fucking lucky right now. I'm a guard. You're not, I'm not supposed to. Oh, good. Now pick up my fucking purse. No, I won't. You're gonna pick it up, or I'm gonna ram my hand up you like a puppet and make you do it. Not a way in my living life I'll pick up that fucking purse of yours. I'm a fucking lady. Pick up my fucking handbag. You have to kill me before I take that purse up. I won't pick it up, okay? You got it, you got it. Yeah, that's right, pick it up. All your things are in here. Yeah. Well. Ah, oh, fuck. I love you. Fuck. <sighs> Burr. No. because then I won't freeze up. Hello? 
federal government a hot panic here, so buckle up because you know I'm going to get even chattier. What should we talk about? Um, I like lipsticks. Oh, oh my face, Susan! Nancy, I know, but I'm in deep and I'm getting such good intel. Please, I just need to remain on radio silence just a little bit longer. Okay, well, don't worry, because I'll be able to keep a better eye on you now. What are you talking about? How? Oh, oh my God. Oh. What are you doing here? Well, Elaine wants to know exactly what you're up to, so I tracked your earpiece. They sent me here to find you. Is it you? Well, I'm not the only nobody who can go into the field. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, that was harsh. It's just that I'm as unknown as you are, aren't I? So they thought my cover would be safe. Ford's made it even more impossible for any actual agents not to be spotted. Okay, I have to call Elaine and tell her that I found you because she really wants you out of here. No, 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 you can't do that. I'm already in and that sale's happening tonight or tomorrow, but I don't know where. Okay, I'm so close. Okay, she can't pull me out now. I just need one more day. Did you stop by that jacket? I saw it on the way over. You stopped and bought that jacket while you were freaking out about whether I was alive or not? Well, I was grieving about your possible demise, so this is mourning therapy. It's retail therapy, okay? The other thing does not exist. In England, it does. Stop! Okay, I know it's not a thing. I'm sorry. I shop when I'm nervous. You know that, and I needed a disguise. What is your disguise? Nancy in a fancy jacket? Didn't they give you an identity? <gasps> it's so cool. I said I wanted to be Amber Valentine, and they let me use it. What? Yeah, and I get to wear my own clothes. I just wanted to jazz it up a bit. How is that a disguise? It's not just the jacket. It's also Amber. Also goes like this. She's pouty, Amber. Okay, Nancy's like... Amber. Nancy. Amber. Stop, stop it, stop you it. See, she's she's not You're just making faces. She's sexy, Amber. Stop doing crazy faces, okay? I don't know why you got to pick your identity. I had to go as a freaking cat lady. Oh, too better. Well, it doesn't. Yes. yes. Where are we going? We're going somewhere Jesus. in Hungary. Where do you want to go? It fucking stinks under here. It's like milk and bacon. What did you eat? Funny enough, milk and bacon. Disgusting! It's one of my favourite meals. I sometimes make it into a smoothie. I call it milken. Come on, we can do this. Come Don't on. Don't touch me. Stick with me. Get off me. Let's get to safety. Get off. Raina, crawl with me. To safety, walking is overrated. I smell like hot milk and bacon. What are you looking at? We'll be safer. Come on. Raina, you still with me? I think I might have peed this jacket actually because it can't all be sweat. Okay, fine. Save yourself. I think I'm just going to make this my home now, actually. Let's clear that away. God, my heart. Can I have some milk? And some bacon? Just here, please. Thank you! God. Why are you sweating so much? It's disgusting! I'm sorry, I'm physically impotent. I don't know what to say. I'm drowning! Stick with me! Stick with me, you'll be safe. Crawl with me to safety. Crawl with me! Come on! Walking is overrated. Come on, Ray! Only a block from the hotel. We'll be fine. Stick with me. I do go to the gym, I assure you. I just tend to stand on the treadmill and watch TV. It's cool in there. Raina! Can you oh, God, it's so hot? Take my jacket. Raina, take my jacket. And when you get to safety, message it back to me. Just here. I think I'm just gonna have to live here now. Actually. I'm fine. I'm just very, very weak, but still sexually. This <laughs> leafy pillow. Oh, that's nice. Shit! People are trying to kill me, and all that's left of my fucking security team is Laverne and Shirley. Oh wait, they were more competent. They worked in a factory. <sighs> Do you have anyone on your team other than this asthmatic Big Bert? 
Because if I needed somebody to jog behind me at a rapidly declining pace and sweat like a horse, I'd be all set. But that's not what I fucking need. You know, if I was gonna compare her to anyone at Sesame Street, I would, I would say Elmo, because she's loyal and positive, and when she does get excited, she does tend to go up into her upper register, but- How is that helpful? You know, we, we usually just use her for non-physical security resources. I'm very non-physically resourceful. Well, start to use your resources, or I'm going to use my resources. Oh, well, that would be quite helpful. No. No, cute. Get me more security before tonight's meeting, or consider yourself incompetent. Amber can tell you what happens if I label you that. And you! You have to stop with these stupid Penny Morgan outfits. You have to dress like an actual human. You look great. That's a very nice jacket. Oh, thank you. It is nice, isn't it? And you seem like someone who takes fashion chances. Shut up! Get me more security when I come back out here or you're both dead. How long do you think you'll be in? Got it. Glad she liked the jacket. to kill me and all that's left of my fucking security team is a retarded Bert and Ernie. I trade you both in for a medium-sized dog. <sighs> Do you have anyone on your team who can blow up a balloon without passing out? Well, y Because if I needed somebody to jog behind me at a rapidly declining pace and sweat like a horse, I'd be all set. But that's not what I fucking need! You know, if you're in the mood to whip something around, I'll go get you a flag, because... Has a very large gun. Get me more security before tonight's meeting or consider yourself incompetent. Now I can tell you what happens if I label you that. It's not a good thing, is it? And you! You have to stop with these stupid Penny Morgan outfits. This isn't a joke. Dress more like her. Oh, thank you very much. You look good. I like that jacket. Oh, I know we've just met, but that affirmation means so much. Now oh, shut the fuck up! When I come back out here, there better be more security, otherwise you're both dead. Do you hear me? How long do you think you'll be in there? Got it! Oh, I like that she liked the jacket. I don't want to hear about the fucking jacket anymore. But it's just that it is nice. I'm going to shoot you myself. Okay, don't worry. To save you, I'm going to shoot you. I failed. I failed the mission. Finds alive and he's a traitor. Don't be downhearted. It's like what my mother used to say. Aldo, life is full of sorrow and surprises, but a magnificent peril, bosom. Are you saying bosoms? Bosoms. Yeah, got it. It's the correct word. Yep, that's it. You're on it. Who, that's from your. That's a. That's a story from your mother. My mother. Yeah. Okay, just checking. She too had a uh, oh, fantastic pair of bosoms. Yep. Not in the same league as you, but. Uh, You're trying to get some rest. Close those eyes and mouth. They were both so perfect. One even more so than the other. Okay. The right one. Mm. So uh, round and heavy and uh, just the right amount of. Yep. Um, Sounds great. People would pay money, 500 lira, to come and look in a village. Like a prostitute? Just, just to look, sometimes to feel a little. Okay, good story. Right, go. Yeah, go back to sleep. Night, night, bosoms. They don't talk. Susan, you are a good agent. You know, I did do a good job, didn't I? Yes. You'll get them next time, huh? Unless we die here. In which case, uh, it would be my very great honor 
to be uh, the last man to die inside of you. Oh, Jesus. Why do you, why do you say I'm that? I'm sorry, I, I, I can't help it. I, yes, you, you can, I yes, you can. I can't help it, I yeah, can't, I, I have that. to see it. it's a compulsion. <sighs> I want to say more now, no, I, no, and I know I, don't, I can't. No, I really don't want you to say more. You know what? I'm not going to go out like this. <laughs>